Hey, I'm Anthony and this is the Biotech Brief. This brief will talk about radiation resistant space fungus and what it could potentially do for drug discovery. As many of you know, back in 1986, the worst nuclear power plant disaster in history in terms of cost and casualties took place at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. And in the decades after the explosion, a team of microbiologists actually used robots to collect samples of fungus that seemed to have survived the radiation exposure. And that's how they learned that microbial life was actually thriving at the site of the nuclear accident. Through further examination, we have learned that not only can these fungi live inside the areas with the highest amount of radioactive contamination, but also that some of the strains growing closest to the radiation were actually growing toward the radiation. So it seems the Chernobyl fungi were actually helped by the radiation because they could transform gamma rays, which are usually lethal, into an energy source. Not content by these discoveries though, researchers sent eight species of the Chernobyl fungi to the International Space Station earlier this year in order to grow the fungi in microgravity. Since returning the fungi from space, a team of researchers has been sequencing the fungi's DNA to see how the organisms may have changed as a result of being in space. By determining what new compounds the fungi were making in response to the increased radiation from space, those compounds could potentially be converted into drugs that could be used as a kind of sunblock for radiation in people. For instance, cancer patients being treated with radiation therapy, workers at nuclear plants like Chernobyl, or NASA astronauts on long duration flights. I think this type of research shows just how outside the box drug researchers are getting to discover new drug solutions. For more, you can follow the Biotech Brief on Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube, and I'll see you next time.